So we're going to take the derivative of this function and then set it equal to zero and solve for x. Keep in mind that the derivative is finding the slope of the tangent line. So this right here says, when does slope equal zero? So that means that slope equals zero would be a horizontal tangent line. So another way to say it is, when are there horizontal tangent lines? And before doing the calculus, just take a look at the graph. I can get it out of the glare. There's the function. Okay, so it went down here, so I need to adjust the window, the y values, let's say down to 50. Down to 50. A little bit more. Okay. So on this graph, there's two places where there are horizontal tangent lines, namely down here. So over here, the tangent line would be going down, so that would be negative slope. On this side, tangent lines would be going up, that's positive slope. And then right in the middle, the tangent line would be going right across, so that's horizontal. So this is one place where the derivative would equal zero, at that minimum value right there. Likewise, at this top of the arc right up here. There would be a horizontal tangent line. So we're looking for two such answers. First of all, take the derivative. So the derivative is going to be a 3x squared. So bring the, multi the exponent down and multiply, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. Next is going to be 16x plus 2 and the derivative of a constant is always zero. So if we set this equal to zero, we can then use the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four, the a and the c all divided by two times a. So we'd have 16 plus, I should use parentheses, the square root of 16 squared minus, what's that, a 12 times 2, 24. And then close the parentheses twice and divide by a 6. So one possibility is that x equals 5.205. And then do the same thing with subtraction. In case you hadn't seen that trick before, you just hit second enter, and it'll give you the expression back again. You can change it. OK. So also sketch the graph. So we had it went like this. And then it went down. And so this one right here would be the 5.205. And this one right here would be when x equals 0 0.128. And that should be about it. I'm just going to verify it real quick. Trace 5.205 is the one at the bottom. So I could even put that this is at negative 62.312. And trace at the top was a 0.128 for x, and the y value, 3.127.